Hey guys, this is Noel. Hey, I teach a lot of farms, classes, and every class uh, people are asking, how do you secure your firearms specifically from children? Well, that's what we're going to go over. Before we do, let's go over the three rules of firearms. One, when you pick up a firearm, make sure it's pointing in the right direction. Two, uh, keep your finger off the trigger. Three, do not introduce ammunition to the firearm until you're ready uh, to fire or acquire a target. Alright, so the first uh, thing I want to go over here, first item, is basically it's a, a padlock method. Um, this comes with a lot of firearms because by law they have to give you some way to secure it. Uh, all it is is a padlock uh, with some form of a cable loop uh, and it usually has a, a key entry. Uh, so if you take a, an automatic firearm, lock the slide back, simply take the open end, put it through the um, ejection port, through the handle, and out the um, magwell, and just lock it down. Okay. If you're going to use it on a revolver, simply take it, you can put it through the barrel all the way, and then just, again, lock it down. Or, probably easier, faster way, is take it Put it directly through one the chambers in the, the cylinder and lock it down because you can't shut the cylinder. Now, that's you can only use that if you keep the firearm unloaded. Next two methods or items I'm going to show you is uh, how to keep it. If you keep it loaded, you can use these. So this one is simply a trigger guard. It comes in two pieces. This one happens to have a combination on it, but the, the ones that come in the, uh, the packages or the boxes with the guns, usually they have a key uh, with it. I like the, the combination one. I use this when I travel, so you don't have to worry about losing the key or what have you. So, whether you have an automatic or you have a revolver, you simply take the in with a bolt, Put it through the trigger guard. Now, when you put it through the trigger guard, and if the gun is loaded, okay, you've got to be extremely careful. Watch that trigger with that bolt. Put the other end on it, and simply lock it down. Again, whether the gun is loaded or unloaded, you can use this trigger guard. The preferred, the preferred method um, when you are at your house is simply use a gun vault. Um, this one has a finger code, so you put your fingers right in there, 3 o'clock in the morning when something goes, goes boom, uh, you can find it uh, and to get it open. And it has a preset code that you set. Uh, there are others that have um, a sensor that you put your thumb uh, on that sensor and it will open automatically. Uh, you, can, I don't, you can have multiple people that have access to it, what have you. Um, but that's the best method. This one has a row of batteries. Uh, it also has a plug-in to the wall. Uh, so if the electricity goes out, you can still get to it because the batteries will operate. Now look, that's not the end all. You need to be sure that you have a good program, uh, educational program for your children. Make sure that they know what guns are about. Make sure they know the safety rules. Take them shooting, man. Let them see what it's about. Uh, takes all the curiosity out of it. And that is uh, why kids pick up guns, because they're curious. Thanks.